Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about seven ways to create multiple flows of income with your soccer training business. Now, a question I get asked on a regular basis is what type of services can I offer on top of my one-on-one -on -one, uh, private training? So decided to come on here, make this video because I know it's going to help you. Right, and I'm going to share with you seven ways that you can add more value to your to your business. You can create more uh, services, which ultimately creates more flows of income. Right now, what some coaches do is some coaches they limit themselves to just focusing on one on one and small group training, which is fantastic. However, right, if we have multiple flows of income means that we can help more kids, right? Some parents might not be looking for that one-on-one -on -one training. They might not be looking for small group training. They might be looking for an, a different type of service. But I'm gonna share with you seven uh, different ways that you can add more value and create multiple flows of income, right? So the first one is one-on-one -on -one private training. So as I've mentioned before, that's a very common one. And that is pretty much where one coach trains with one client. Okay, so it's a one-on-one -on -one, uh, type of environment where you can provide a lot of value for clients and you can work on specific uh, problems that that client is facing, right? So if it's their shooting, if it's their defending, if it's their first touch, if it's their passing, right, you can work with that client and customize the training to suit that client, right? So that's the first um, flow of income and service you can create is one-on-one -on -one private training. Second one is two-on-one -on -one private training. So this is something we look with coaches to create when they start their business because sometimes individual players that come to your, to your program, they might not want to train by themselves with the coach, right? They might want to train with a friend so we create an environment where it's two players and one coach. So this still gives a personalized type of uh, experience, environment for, for your clients. Okay, But ultimately what it is, is now you're working with two players instead of just working with one. Okay, And that's fantastic because you can do a lot of 1v1 stuff, which is great for, for, for the technical side of the game. Okay, And also the development of skills as well. Now, the third type of service you can offer to create another flow of income is the one I mentioned previously, which is small group training. So when I talk about small group training, I talk about anything between four to six clients in one group. Now, this is something very common with, with the trainers that we work with. And when we do help coaches to, to provide this type of service, we help them to create this service that becomes a premium type of, of, of service to the client, right? So four to six players is a nice environment, I say, because you can do, if you're working with four players, you can do two V2s. If you're working with six players, you can work on six, uh, three V3s, and you can work on different areas of the game, which still makes it kind of, uh, that, that group feeling and also makes it a little bit more game realistic, right? So when a player has a ball, he still has two options to pass, okay? He also has an environment to take on, on players, right? It's also for the coach, a manageable type of environment where it's not a lot of players. You can still give your, your clients a, a personalized experience and you can customize their training to suit every individual. Right. The fourth type of, of service and another thing you can offer to create another flow of income is open group uh, training. So open group training, also known as X clinics, is where you might run these types of, of clinics or group sessions, open group sessions once per week or once per month. And what they are is you will get anywhere between 12 plus players into these these type of clinics right so what we do with coaches we help them to organize and create these type of programs where they're focusing on a specific uh, 
topic every single clinic. So the first clinic might be a shooting clinic, and that's designed to help players improve their shooting technique and become better, better finishers with the ball. Okay, You could create another clinic, which is goalkeeping specific, where you work on goalkeeping skills and techniques with specific goalkeepers, right? You can tailor these type of clinics or open group sessions to your needs, right? Now, the beauty of this is that you can open these clinics up to as many players and as many clients as you want, right? I've only thrown out, thrown out a number between 12 to 20, but there's coaches we've worked with that have had up to 50 kids in one open group. Now, that doesn't mean that that coach is working by himself with 50 uh, players, but it means that maybe he has a big environment, a big space for that clinic and he's also, he has one or two assistants to help him run that open group uh, training session, right? So this is a fantastic way to bring in more clientele, to expose yourself in front of more kids and to make it more theme specific. So every clinic focuses on one type of area of soccer, right? The fifth one is team training. So as a private trainer, right, you've worked with individuals in maybe a one-on-one -on -one setting, you've worked in a two-on-one, uh, you've done small groups, but now what you can do is you can go into clubs and offer your services to work with their teams. This is something a lot of coaches that we work with, uh, they do. They go into clubs and they maybe run one or two or three training sessions per week with that team. So essentially that club subcontracts you to come in and do the training. Now what's very popular is these trainers are going into clubs that are maybe run by volunteer parents. So they may be run by mums or dads that have very little experience of coaching, but you come in there, you offer your expertise, you offer your service to the club to run and help that, that team get better, right? So you come in and you offer professional training and not only that, you can also provide session plans for the mum or dad that runs the team so that when you're not with them, right, they know exactly what they need to do step by step, right? So a team training service is a fantastic way to, to create another flow of income into your training business. Now, the next one is seasonal camps. So seasonal camps might be uh, Christmas camps. It might be winter camps, it might be um, summer camps, right? So depending where you are in the world, these type of camps are usually run when kids are off school, okay? So if you're based in the UK, for example, I know most kids are off every six weeks, there's a half-term break. So that, that's a fantastic opportunity to run a camp when those kids aren't at school. Okay, because you can run a day camp or you can run a half day camp. Okay, in the United States as well, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, seasonal uh, breaks where where kids are off school, so you can run your camps. It might be a week long, it might be one day. Okay, but essentially in the United States, for example, what coaches tend to do is because the summer season is quite long, kids are off school pretty much for 12 weeks, then that's a fantastic way to run back-to-back -back camps uh, for kids. Okay, And most coaches that we work with, they, they run these type of seasonal camps. It creates extra revenue in, in their business. It gets uh, parents to, to send their kids to, to, to do some extra training, supplemental training with you. And also... It's a great way because any kid that attends your program that does really well, you can then sell them onto your actual program. So if there's a child that comes to you and he's a fantastic player, he's playing at a high level, he's, he's attended one of your camps, you can then look to sell that client and that parent onto training either in a one-on-one -on -one setting with you or in your small groups, right? So we want to have one-on-one -on -one training and small group training as the premium type of service. And we can offer these seasonal camps when kids aren't at school 
to come to you and get exposure, right? Get in front of more kids, have kids experience our training and have them to witness or, or, or feel what it's like to be in your program. Okay, it's also not a massive commitment for parents because if parents are working, it's a great way for them to send their kids to experience it with you. If their child has a fantastic time, then the chances are they want they will want to go back and train with you again. Right. So the sixth way is seasonal camps. Now, the seventh way is consulting. Right. Now, this doesn't have anything to do with actual in uh, in person kind of uh, training, which means on the field. Right. A consulting service can be anywhere, can be anywhere done. It can be done in person in like a, a classroom or an office environment, or you can even work with clients via Zoom. But what you want to do is a consulting cert type of service is a way where you're solving a specific problem for your players and your clients. Right. So if your clients want to get scouted by a professional uh, club, Right. These consulting services are a great way for you to talk to the parent and give them a breakdown of what they need to do in order to get scouted by a club. In the United States, something that's very popular and very common is helping players to get into college. Right. So a consulting service you can offer is how to get recruited to play at the college level. Right. You so you can recommend uh, certain teams, certain clubs to parents you can um, sh you can work with them on their their how to apply right or how to how to set up a profile on a certain website where college uh, scouts or college coaches go and look at different types of players right what events right so what ID camps can they attend to get in front of coaches right there's a number of ways you can do it but a consulting service is essentially where you sit down with the parent and player and you help them to solve a specific problem and they pay you. It, it might be per hour or per a certain amount of sessions that you have and you help them in that process. Right. So how to get recruited to play at college is, is a very common one. You can also work on nutrition. Okay? You can do some nutrition consulting Um you can do confidence coaching, right, or confidence consulting. All right, so there's a number of different things you can do. And these aren't things that are on the field, right? This doesn't have anything to do with skill, uh, skill specific. They are a, t a service where you sit down with, with the client over a Zoom call or in a classroom or in an office environment. They come to you, right, and you sit down and you break down step by step what they need to do in order to solve the problem that they're looking to solve, right? So that's seven different ways that you can add more value, create multiple flows of income, right? And grow your business month after month, okay? Now, I'm going to give you a bonus one, and this is the eighth one. So the bonus one is you can also offer digital types of products, Okay, so we, I know that we work with a lot of coaches who sell ebooks, right? They sell ebooks to clients, and those ebooks might help them with their nutrition, their confidence, and um, how to live an athletic lifestyle, how to get recruited, right? You can have, you can break down a step by step guide and sell it to parents, right? Also, you can create a, a digital product which is in video format and parents buy that off you and it has a breakdown of how to do certain or specific type of skills right something that a lot of very successful trainers are currently doing is what they do is they do their in-person training and then they also have a digital platform where kids can do the extra training when they're not with their coach away from the, from the actual session right so if they're training with that trainer once a week right they might have a a, a six week a video format plan that that player can go through every single day to improve their game right so it might be a five to ten minute video how to break down a specific skill 
right? So that way, when they come to your session, right, they've been training extra and they're also up to scratch with what you want them to do, okay? So those are seven to eight different ways that you can create multiple flows of income every single month to grow your business, take it to the next level and add more value into your program. If you want more help, if you want more one-on-one -on -one help, okay, you can book a free 15-minute call with me. We'll jump on Zoom. I can answer any questions that you might have with regards to your business. Right? If you don't want to do that, then just send me a direct email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Right? Thank you for watching and I'll see you.